Hello, everyone. My name is Emer Emily Neenan. I study science education, and I am absolutely honored to be asked to open this showcase. Um, and I would like to recite for you a poem that I've written about qualitative, quantitative, and mixed methods research. <laughs> it's snappy, don't worry. <laughs> to answer questions properly, seek fact. The truth is found true aggregatively. The scientific method is exact. Investigate things quantitatively. Nothing in life is quite black or white, people particularly. To venerate numbers, boxes, and scales enervates creative generation of data and fails to allow for the wow of addressing a question imaginatively. Discover things qualitatively. A true positivist ontology asserts the world in which we live is real. Define a measurable entity then quantitative data is ideal. Well, count your blessings if you can. Measure emotions in meters or grams. Our concepts are constructs, co-created in context, written and wished, interpretivist, no being, no meaning, without us to see them. Qualitative data is how we reveal them. Keep samples large and always randomized. Approach each piece with objectivity. Researcher bias thus is minimized in quantitative methodology. Now the impossibility of objectivity aside, I won't apologize for being me, for bringing how I feel and how I see. I look my bias in the eyes. It is one side, the other wise, a wrinkled face, empathetic and experienced. I hold my bias firmly by the tail. It's not a failure to spend the coin of subjectivity in qualitative methodologies. The truth is that the numbers cannot lie. Once all due care is taken with the task. How variables correlate and why due quantitative queries can unmask. But people tell stories, that's how they make sense. They build fences to fences. They explore the world's glories in words. A vast and lasting amount of what we know is narrative. Give qualitative questions their due. Experimental methods give control. A certainty that other methods lack. Investigate relationships, the goal, which quantitative instruments unpack. A person's own words and a person's own home, whatever that home may be, opening, inviting, questioning, and encouraging honesty, seeing what they can see, picking one thread through the weaving, plucking and pulling a string, qualitative instruments sing. To build on strong foundations is robust. A chain of logic strengthened link by link. Existing frameworks built for us to trust are quantitative methods kept in sync. Ask a question never asked before. Find and open a brand new door. Do more. Go further and deeper and broader. Qualitative methods let you explore. But a policy needs solid evidence. Validity must be external. Then, proposals are put forth with confidence. The quantitative process proves again. No improvement is a wanted change. It's strange to think a stranger would know better. To get the best result, listen. Feminism fights the power differential. It is essential to be deferential to lived experience, to hear them speak their truth, and yours too. That process is collaborative. It is qualitative. But can't we combine paradigms and align the finest and most fitting bits? each lending their strengths to the other to cover the failings or gaps. Let them overlap. Flaws can be fixed when methods are mixed. Taking a pragmatist viewpoint, the thing that works best is what works. Joint methods in tandem, not random, but thoughtfully done. Why stick to just one? To best answer questions, reflect on suggestions. Qualitative, quantitative, all the ways we break things up and separate things into slices, 
But these systems are not binary. The one method might be primary. Think in continuums. Use what is optimum. The goal is to answer the question, as best as restrictions allow. And how will my project be best done? A mixed methods process is how. Thank you.